The Outer Banks, another home in Rodanthe has collapsed. This is a look at the home on Corbina Drive as it got swept away by the ocean tonight. No one got hurt, but this is now the seventh home to collapse on that stretch of beach in the last four years. The National Park Service is now warning visitors to avoid the beach until further notice because dangerous debris may be in the water up to a dozen miles away. Thanks for staying up for 13 News Now at 11. I'm Dan Kennedy, joined by Chief Meteorologist Tim Pandagis. And Tim, cleanup for this mess could take a while. In fact, the National Park Service tells us tonight they're dealing with rough surf, so it may not be till early next week that they get around to it. Yeah, prolonged uh, conditions that are going to prevent that from happening, right? We've got uh, Ernesto well offshore, right. still churning, hitting Bermuda, but the waves from it are propagating out, causing higher sea levels, high surf advisories are up for portions of the Outer Banks coastal flood advisories through the rest of this weekend. So conditions aren't going to get all that much better at all. There's a look at those advisories down towards Rodanthe, southern portions of Dare County, right up through this weekend. So uh, conditions there not, not looking too good. Here's the reason why. There's Ernesto. It's back down to a Category 1. There's a bit of dry air getting pulled into the circulation, so weakening it a bit, which is good news for Bermuda that's getting impacted at this time. Winds at 90 miles per hour, but as I mentioned, that storm is kicking up the ocean and those waves are propagating out to the eastern seaboard. So that's going to cause higher swells, rip current risk all weekend into next week, and that coastal erosion, coastal flooding risk too. If you are going to the beach tomorrow, expect surf height up two to four feet. Peaking Sunday could get as high as five to seven feet locally. Rip current risk is high, and we've got air temperatures in the mid 80s with water temperatures in the mid 70s. So if you're headed to the ocean front tomorrow, maybe try to stay out of the water and just enjoy the beach.